This is the cheapest Porsche 911 in the world. It doesn't start or drive, the paint is awful, and it's been on fire. So obviously we bought it. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, why the hell are we buying a car from a scrapyard? Firstly, it's not scrapyard, it's an auto recycling centre. And secondly, because of that white thing up there. The white 911 up there. <laughs> yeah. What have you done? <laughs> oh my God. Rob from Silver Lake said that we could have a closer look at the 911 in their nicely lit spin it bay. So while they moved the car inside, we got a chance to sift through the 5,000 cars they have in their facility, but not before we'd gotten distracted. Oh, oh cool. M54s, cool. Should we get one of these for Rory for his E28? Or for his 330, or for, any, or for anything. For any, either for, of them, really. Yeah, anything, really. That's an M3. It's a proper M3. Oh. As a proper M3, you can tell by the arch rust. Hey, you wash your mouth. <laughs> is that an Aston? Oh, it is a DB11. Wow, cool. Oh, no. With that, it was time to have a proper look at this sad looking Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> right, you told me we were buying a car today. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be a Porsche 911. Porsche 911. A coupe, what's more, manual. Look, a manual gearbox, right? It is manual. I'm just looking through the misty window. What's that? Oh, nice wheels as well. Um, and white, factory white. Someone has left their heated seat on. It's had a very good heated seat in there. This car's been on fire, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a Porsche 911. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's white. It's white. Originally white. Um, it's got the red interior. It's got some the aero pack. I don't remember these coming in a matte white. Yeah, it was silver at some point in its life. It is now white though, with racing stripe as well. Okay, right. Does it run? I like the black roof. Mm. The black roof is nice. Is it a rear-wheel drive? Yes. Okay. Bonus points, but you don't know if it runs? No. Okay. Also, aero pack. This is a rare option on early 996. This is the other thing. It's a 3.4, which means it has a cable throttle. Kind of nice for simplicity, means we can't do much to the engine. It's not ripening my berries, Okay. Apparently, but I think it's got potential. Let's maybe look at the other side first before you make a decision. Okay. Also, I don't know what's going on here. I think maybe tint on the lights. Someone's put tinted on them. Yeah, that's so the, that, yeah. That'll clean up. That'll that's fine, just right? falling off. Yeah. That does need to go. That needs to go. That does need to that go. That needs to go quite quickly. Is that a great PPF it's job? It's really good PPF. So if I take it off? It's just extra secure. It's like unboxing your new 911. Yeah. Except it's new. Yeah, except it's sadder. Wow. <laughs> Someone's replaced the seat with some caramel. Oh no. You know the whole thing that it won't start up? Yep. Yeah, the loom's here. It's not. It's, yeah. it's not there it, Sorry, yeah. the loom was there. The loom there. was there. The loom is deleted, um, which is likely the reason it won't start. That's fine, then we don't need to buy any one of those now. The seat, that's savable. Maybe it's like a sort of race seat, just the frame. Yeah, exactly. Look, this is yeah. this was the original YFAC package. That's a great bit of burning. Uh, I've seen something. What colour is the inside of that door? Silver. It's got a Le Mans stick on the other side as well. Does it? It does. Where? I, also, you could probably see that sticker a bit more if there wasn't the haze from the smoke inside that's yeah. now covered the window. But we're going to get this thing going. We might. We could do. We could do. The red's a bit striking. Also, sorry, red on cream carpet with full <laughs> drumstick inside, Stormtrooper on the outside. We've got so. a lot of colours going on in yeah. this thing. But imagine, right? Maybe some red wheels, maybe some inspired red wheels, maybe some GT3 kind of wheels. Some nice seats, a nice steering wheel in red. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, now we're on I mean, board. We need a seat. We need a seat. So no, we, we yeah, might as well true. buy some, some two seats. Well. Yeah. You need two seats. Will's not a Porsche man, but we'll win him over. Bonnet or the boot? Wait, that's the Which same thing. Which one would you like to start with? Let's have a look in the front. Okay. That might be better. Are you? are you not feeling this a bit? Are you not a little bit? <laughs> I've got an image in my head, I have okay. to admit. Does it have flames all over it? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Wow. You that said red wheels. Oh, wow. Cool. There's no silver here. I think it's a mistake on the government website. I think this is originally white. I'm going to forget I saw that. Yeah, it might have been silver. <laughs> Before we take our crispy 996 back to the unit, we want to take a moment to say thank you to this channel's first ever sponsor, 
car vertical. So hundreds of cars get crashed every day and they go back on the road without us even knowing. Exactly. And with a car vertical report, you can check to make sure the car that you're buying has the right history. All you have to do is enter your car's registration or VIN number and car vertical will tell you if it's ever been crashed, stolen or clocked. Take my Clio 182 as an example. It's got green ticks for mileage, finance and damage and that shows me that this hasn't had a dodgy past. Whereas when you look at this low Elise, it has an amber warning for damage. And when you scroll down to the photos, you can see it's had a pretty nasty whack on the front end. No airbags have gone off inside, but it's also got a bit of a scratch on that rear bumper too. That can be quite expensive to do. So if you scroll down, you can see that this particular Elise is actually a Cat S. And that means if you see this car come up for sale, you know it's been in a crash. So anytime you're going to buy a car, van or motorbike, run a car vertical check and make sure that it hasn't been stolen, crashed or clocked. And to sweeten the deal, you can get 20% off with code TDC. The piece of resistance, the engine, the smallest engine you can get in uh, a 996, 3.4, the worst one. And also the IMS issues. Is that the heaviest thing in the world? Is that made of lead? <laughs> what the hell? Um, oh, look, look, just, a, a fly's just flown out of it. He's just been released. He's been released. He's like, I've been <laughs> there You know on the 996 GT3 RS, you can have it white with red, yeah. white with green, white with blue. We've already got the colorway going. Yeah. Okay. We've got oil. That's got oil. I'd say that's the perfect amount of oil, yes, aka so. some. Good colour as well. What you can see in here is how hard this is to work on. Everything's up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry mate, can you just grab that from the back of the engine? Yeah mate, sorry. Let me... Oh no worries, yeah, sorry, let me just dive in. Minimise. We can put a battery on it and see if it turns over. Yep. Yeah? We, we, can try, we can try lots of things. Oh, oh, I heard it. Hold on. Here we go. Most important thing, the previous owner's listening habits. The very best of Freddie Jackson. Ooh. Don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Ooh, a custom burned CD. That's gonna have some good. That's gonna have yeah. some bangers on it. We're gonna put that yeah. in slot number one. Michael Bolton, Time, Love and Tenderness. Might have to keep that one in there. So that's what he was listening to. The old owner on his way to Le Mans. Yeah, on his way well, to the, Le Mans. The love song's going on. While the car's on fire. This gives me a good owner vibe. You know, this is someone that cared about this car. Hello. We've got a couple of lights on the lights dash. Lights on the dash. I can't see the speedo because it's burnt. I'm getting some crackling from the speakers. I think I just heard the fans kick on as well. Yeah. Fans are on. This is a fan car. Gordon Murray, eat your bloody heart out. Look, couple fuses. Don't worry about that. Couple fuses, you know, you know, new passenger seat, done. I think I like this, I think it's good. No, no, no. It doesn't start, it doesn't crank, only the fan comes on. We, we can't buy this. The fan works. We, can't, we cannot buy this. Yeah, issue with that. I've bought it already. <laughs> How much have you bought it for? Would you be angry if I told you £5,000? I would be angry if you said £50. Okay, well, still, <laughs> everyone watching knows, five grand for a 996 manual coupe with aero kit. <sighs> While Silver Lake loaded our mint 996 onto the trailer, we headed into the pick and pull area to see if they had any parts for our cars. Well. Will, wow. that, that is a Mark II Clio 182 in Will's colour. I need a bonnet. You need a bonnet? I do a need bonnet. a bonnet. Oh, it's got a bit of a dent though. That's the same dent as yours, right? It's not as bad as my dent though. I need a bonnet and it's impossible to find one in this colour. <gasps> Show oh, me that. Will, No. it's a sat-nav car. I cannot stress to you how rare a 182 with sat-nav is. And Will's other 182, his blue one, has sat-nav. But it doesn't work. That is a knob. <laughs> From a sat-nav. From the sat-nav and mine's missing it. And the chances of me ever, ever finding one of these again is zero. Is minuscule. Zero. I'm feeling the Porsche a bit more now. Yeah. Oh yeah, now feeling like now, it was yeah. sort of it meant to be. Came from a good place. Yeah. Came for a Porsche, left with a bonnet. Lovely. And a Porsche. I was so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Excited by my new bonnet and a little knob, I paid a bonnet and a very small knob. Loaded up my bonnet, and then we hit the road, happy with our new project car. That's our 911 right there. We own that. I wasn't sure at first, but seeing it on the back of a lorry, it's a bit worrying, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming around. So you started skeptical, now you're on board? Yeah, I think slowly. I mean, we haven't seen it properly yet, yeah. so there's, there's, room for, there's room for movement, but. See, I'm the opposite. I started fully on board with it, and I'm petrified now. Now, that we're, now we've committed. I'm really scared. Yeah. Why am I sat in the dashboard of your Clio? Oh, because of the bonnet. We need a crew car, please. As great as Lewis is, he, and he, he will, at the drop of a hat, come and help us. Massive shout out to Lewis. We need to be able to move our own cars around. And one last thing, subscribe to this channel, please. Yeah. Look what we've done to ourselves. Yeah. You're gonna to wanna to see our glorious fall into demise. If that is not worth 
cheeky little sub. I don't know what it is. Oh, subway employees be like. <laughs> now back at the unit, we unloaded the 911 and decided we should see what Alex, Taylor and Rory thought of our very first project car. Hello. Oh my God. Does the oil on the outside come as extra? Or? Don't worry about that. How much? Oh, it's nice boot. boot How there. much? <laughs> How much? 5,000 pounds. Five grand? And there's nothing else wrong with it. It looks like a kit car. It, it does. It might be a kit car. Is it car. an MR2? <laughs> Do you want to get in? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Should I have a seat? Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. <gasps> yeah, okay. It's already had a weight reduction class in the form of fire. Oh, <laughs> look at this. 5,000 pounds. Do I have to say it again? 5,000 pounds. But it doesn't it run, day. Edward. It doesn't matter. How much do you pay for that 993? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> We're in. It's not on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this one isn't currently on fire. It's just a little clean up project. It'll be fine. But you know the engine works. Mm. This is the Chariot du Bore score, isn't it? Maybe a bit of bore scoring, maybe yeah. a bit of IMS. Okay. However, the rear wiper is, is in fantastic in condition. condition. That Why is, nice. is there loads of scratches all over the window? Like someone's keyed the window. Ah, it's been vandalised. Well, no That's shit. Right. <laughs> no, no. But not, not only that, the, they've slashed the seats. They've slashed the dashboard. Oh, why would they do that? That's literally the only bit that is nice. Yeah. To be fair, they've probably done you a favor because that interior is horrible. Who has gray carpets and red seats, red dash, red gear knob, red steering I, wheel, red everything? I quite like it. Yeah, yeah. but you, we all know that you've got rubbish taste and you were born in the 50s. No, I, I am. I quite old. like it. This, well. this is very 50s. This is yeah. very your generation. It does remind me of Wait, when I was courting. If you, if you like it, <laughs> So what's the plan with this, guys? We want to make it as quick as a 992. That seems easy, no? That's easy. I'll do you a wager. <laughs> okay. I reckon that no matter how much you spend on this car, it will never be faster on track than Phil. Ooh. I'll take that bet. I yeah, will. Like easy peasy. I mean, for that, you'd have to drive Phil, so. I mean... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I had immediate buyer's remorse. Did you uh, really? <laughs> absolutely. The moment it went on the trailer, I was like, oh shit. Fantastic. But That's now right. I'm on board again. I'm more hopeful about it. Okay. okay. The more I look at it, the more I think this is a little Hoover, bit of wiring. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be ready to start. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think if you clean it and get all of that out, it'll actually look like a half decent car. Exactly. Can we put it up on the lift, please? Uh, no, sorry, it's broken. Oh. But we'll just leave it here. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. It's right. Yeah. Fair, fine. Yeah. Right. Okay. Have a good one. Yep. Thank you. Oh, shit. So a big thank you to Silver Lake for letting us come and get this 996. Thank you very much to Car Vertical for being the sponsor of our first ever video. Incredible. And also a massive thank you to every single one of you for getting us to over 100,000 subscribers before this video has even gone out. It is incre it's crazy. It was beyond our wildest dreams that we'd be here already, so thank you. And make sure you tune in next week when we take this car to go and get inspected, and it's quite expensive. Yeah, it's not looking good. See you next week.